welcome to Job Search Stories. I'm Jen, a career coach and your new go-to gal for all things career advice. And I'm Gina. I'm an expert of job seekers here at Indeed. And together, we're going to help you navigate this crazy world of job searching. And hopefully, we're going to help some people get their next job. And today, we are going to go over some common pieces of career advice that job seekers get and separate the myths from the truths. Using these. It's going to be a fun game. The common piece of job advice is job hopping is the best way to advance in your career and make more money. Three, two, one. Oh, so I'm wrong. Um, I put myth because I legit do not know the answer to this. So I want okay. you to give me some advice. Okay. Um, and I'm going to say this one is with a little caveat too. Okay. So the one word I don't like in this statement is best. So saying it's the best way yeah. to make more money. Um, it is absolutely the fastest way to make more money. Okay. So Quick it's way not to get to say, some cash. Absolutely. So it's not to say that you can't advance within a current company or, you know, um, maybe increase and move up in the ladder and mm -hmm. get, you know, more responsibilities and more pay yeah. with those opportunities. But definitely is the fastest way to increase. And yeah. so the reason that I say this is because when you just think about budgets and how companies um, allot funds, yeah. there's usually more funds available for new hires mm -hmm. than there are for internal promotions or mm -hmm. increases. Makes sense. And so this is actually why it's really important to negotiate your salary when mm -hmm. you're first brought on, because that salary is going to be the basis of your of every increase, yeah. right? It's if it's a yearly increase, it's likely to be a percentage of whatever that base is. Yeah. If it's a bonus, it's a percentage of whatever that base is. Yeah. So it's a really important for you to be able to get that base right. Right. And then if you think about how often you're going to get an increase, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's every six months if you're lucky, maybe it's every year, mm -hmm. you know, and if you're working for a company that doesn't have you know, doesn't look at salary on that regular cadence, mm -hmm. then you might be going a while without getting an increase. An increase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like we can take a step back. Can you just kind of define job hopping for anybody who doesn't know what that term even means? Oh, for sure. So job hopping is essentially just moving from one company in one role to another. Mm -hmm. but there's actually another term, which I don't know if you've heard of mm. for employees or people that hop from one company to another one, say they go from A to B, but then they go back, back to, to A. Okay. Do you know what that's called? Nope. They're boomerangs. Okay. Um, and there are actually boomerang programs Ooh. where companies and recruiters actually look mm -hmm. to kind of pull past employees back Yeah. Uh, because they already have the institutional knowledge. Don't have to train them. <laughs> they don't have to train them. <laughs> they've gone somewhere else. And so they've gained those new skills mm -hmm. um, and they want them back because they were great employees. Yeah. So if you are interested in using this job hopping technique to continue to get more, more salary, mm -hmm. just know you can always go back. You yeah. know, as long as you left on good terms, yep. there's always that opportunity to go back. And I see this a lot with people who don't want to leave jobs because they really like it, yeah. right? They really like the company. They really like the team, but maybe they're underpaid, yeah. you know, maybe or they, they feel like they money. should be making more. Right. Right. So you go to another company, gain those skills, gain those funds, mm -hmm. and come on back to that company that you really liked. Nice. Make well, a little bit more. Okay. So you're basically telling me job hopping, it's a good way to advance it's in your career way. and get money. Not the best way. way. There's many other options, but yeah. it's still helpful. Very helpful. We got another one. I, I'm, I'm going to do this one. Okay. Okay. So you shouldn't leave a job without another one lined up. Is that a myth or a truth? Ready? Three, two, one. And again, this one I would do... A slight waiver for? I'm fully You're full? on fact. You should not do that. Okay. I want you to explain your stance first and then I'll explain mine. I just think I would be too anxiety ridden mm -hmm. to do that. So that's just, a, maybe that's more of a personal thing for me. Yeah. That's not a good advice for anybody listening <laughs> and slash or watching, but me personally, yeah. I yeah. wouldn't do that. Okay. Because I just. Where's the, what is the, where does the anxiety about it come from? What if I don't get hired for months and months and months? Right. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. How so, are you going to support yourself? Exactly. Just me. <laughs> just little old me. I need to get that cash money. If I just leave my job, right. where's the cash money going to come yeah. from? Yeah. No, totally agree. Fully understand with that reasoning. I would always recommend 
to keep your job, your current job, while you're job searching and looking for a new opportunity. I just want to be very aware that sometimes that's not people's truths. That's not people's reality. Right? It's yeah. not the way it's going to work out for everybody. Yeah. Sometimes people are put in the job search unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they're in a position they didn't plan for and they're unable to. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they're in a work environment that is really toxic yeah. and they do the self-assessment and they realize, you can't know wait what? It out. Yeah. I can't, you know, it's just not good for me to mm-hmm. do this. Mm-hmm. So what's the advice for those people though? If you can't. Yeah. I mean, I, or if you're even qualified to give this type of advice, like how to like set your mind at ease if you don't have the luxury of keeping your job while looking for another job. Just like you mentioned, a lot of the anxiety about it is really rooted around money. Yeah. And so really starting with putting together and understanding what your budget is, Mm -hmm. that gives you a good framework and understanding for knowing like how long you can like really go without um, having another stream of income coming through. Yeah. Um, And it can also give you a little bit of ease of mind Mm -hmm. and to know, okay, I'm good for at least three months. Yeah. If you found this advice helpful, please make sure to subscribe, rate the podcast, leave a review wherever you listen to podcasts. And we hope you enjoyed these episodes. We'll see you next time. Yep. Bye. Bye.